Now, I don't want to necessarily come across as an old funny guy, even though I definitely do from time to time. Angry wrestling man yells at the clouds! I have my tendencies towards that, that is for sure. And I think it's very fair to point out that over the years, we have seen a lot of trashy wrestling angles. Lots of trashy wrestling angles. Think about Big Show. <laughs> You're a bastard and your mama said so. <laughs> In tears that are soaked. I'm sorry to hear that your daddy finally croaked. You know, that type of stuff. And then, you know, <laughs> Big Boss Man feeding Al Snow Pepper. <laughs> Just when you think about all these other relationships and sex-based angles. Need I even go there? Live sex celebrations in the ring with Edge and Lita that we celebrate now. May Young giving birth to a hand. I can go on and on and on. The larger point I'm trying to get at is we have seen plenty of pure trash and trashy wrestling angles throughout the years and sometimes the lack of what we get in wrestling now makes us look back at these memories of the past as being way fonder than they actually were kind of in real time, if that makes sense. But it, it definitely goes without saying that your less hardcore, more casual type of wrestling fan, wrestling viewer, loves the drama, loves storylines, loves romance and sex-based stuff. That's a fact. They absolutely do, by and large. People get off on that stuff. That's why so many reality shows still continue to permeate our airwaves. If people didn't watch them, if people didn't like them, they wouldn't be getting them on TV. That's just the reality of it. So, so keep that in mind, because I think it's important to say. But when I look at this Lashley, Lana, Rusev love triangle, I just look at this and I say, what's the whole point? What are you trying to accomplish? What makes you think, WWE, that this is a successful angle? What makes you think that this is going to be something that's going to long-term benefit any of these three that are involved with this garbage? And, and before we go any further, please, let, let's call out the fact that you have seen a bit of a change in the way at least some of the women are presented over the past few months. And as much as it is easy to blame Vince McMahon, as easy as it is to call Vince McMahon and hold him accountable to ultimately everything, because everything that goes on WWE shows ultimately runs through Vince, the fact of the matter is, is there's been a clear change when you look at the Maria and Mike stuff and the way that was being presented, and now you look at this. This is a Paul Heyman effect. So as much as it's easy to trash Vince McMahon for everything, because he's the boss, yeah, you could do that. But don't let Paul Heyman off the hook here. At what point in time do you start blaming the guy that's the head writer of Raw? In a lot of cases, Vince is going to approve or change what is initially presented to him. So even if you say Vince has stuck his meat hooks into this and he gets off on the cuck angle... It's Heyman that you got a damn good and well know and his creative team that are presenting this to him. Just saying. But when you look at this angle, like, like, what's the appeal here? Most importantly of all, where's the payoff? Like, what's the payoff to all of this? Who benefits from this? This angle makes Lana look like a raging slut whore. So that certainly does not help her. She's completely dropped the Russian accent and the whole gimmick that actually got her over in the first damn place, and now she's just doing this. And bless all of their hearts. They know this sucks. Deep down, they all know this sucks. And they're doing the best they can to get by and try and get through it. And we've all been in that position in our work lives, in our professional lives, sometimes in our family and personal lives, too. You make the best out of a shitty situation. And that's what these three are trying to do. And I can see that, and I can sense that. But it only goes so far and it only helps so much. So, so your aim here is it to make Lana look like a raging slut? Because that's kind of what you're doing. Is your goal here 
to make Lashley look like a guy that's just interested in stealing away the white man's woman? Uh, certainly, based off of WWE's history, and especially Vince's history, this is a spin in an angle that you could totally believe that he's getting his rocks off to. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, got a black man! If he doesn't dance, sing, rock, or sag his pants below his butt crack, he's trying to steal a white man's woman. Like, you could just see that's something that Vince would be down for. So, so is that going to help Lashley? Because if anything, that's going to get him even more hated by white male fans, especially the conservative leaning types of ones. And then a lot of the black fans are going to be pissed off about this because, oh, leave it to the successful black man, and now he's gotten into a position. He's going after a white woman. Like, And it's not a thing of, well, you're going to make a lot of heat for him. You're going to get a lot of heat for him. There are different types of heat. And this is kind of the F you, get the hell off my TV type of heat. And that's not the heat that you want. And then you look at Rusev. You don't really feel sorry for him because you know in real life he's married to Lana. He's banging the hell out of that puss. So you don't feel sorry for him. He looks like a punk ass in this whole thing. Like that doesn't help him either. And even if you say, well, Rusev is getting big baby face reactions. You know, Long term, this ain't helping him either and he damn good and well know it. To me, the purpose of an angle is to try and get one, if not both people, even more over as a result of it. In this particular case, I could look at this angle and see that all three, long term, are going to be worse off for it. And then when you start doing this stuff, like Lana is saying that she's pregnant, but she's not really pregnant, like this isn't even grounded in reality. This is not something that would happen. Because if anybody's ever been a part of something like this, I believe me, I have. If a woman's going to try and play off a fake pregnancy, she's going to try and play both men against each other because that's what some women do. Like, that is something that guys and women, frankly, can understand and relate to. Not the, I'm going to tell Rusev alone that it's his bastard baby. I'm going to sit there and tell Lashley that I'm having his baby, too. I'm going to try and pin one side against the other because that's what vindictive women freaking do. That's the type of stuff that happens. Sitting there and saying, I'm pregnant by him. And then at the end of it, kind of dismissing it, is not anything that any woman in their mind would do. And notice I didn't say right mind there. I've known of no woman that's going to sit there and tell a dude that she's pregnant with this kid and then immediately say, I can't believe you believe that. There's no way I'm pregnant by his dude, this dude. I'm pregnant by this dude or I'm not pregnant at all. She would have played that out and milked it to a T. Like, let's give women a little more credit than that here, Vince and Paul. And just, if you're saying, well, you're popping the views on the YouTube channel, I'd be a lot more concerned about the views that aren't popping off on Raw each week. You just came off of a tape show that was the lowest watched non-holiday episode of all freaking times. And I guarantee you, guarantee you, that you get way more money from your television contract than you do from getting a couple of million views on your damn YouTube channel. And even then, you're talking about worldwide reach. You have 58 million subscribers or whatever the hell it is on your channel. Yes, you had the one segment that had like 7 million views, but that's still less than 15% of your total subscriber base watching the video. That's not any great form of success at all. At all. Like when you talk about number of subscribers to the amount of people that watch your videos, you at least want to get to the 20, 25, 30% threshold. And they're not even doing that. Even with this angle, that is popping off more than these other ones. And it most certainly is not translating into television ratings and the television viewership numbers. So it's not working there. It's popping your numbers slightly, but not that significantly, on a channel on the internet that is going to generate you significantly less revenue all the while, your three people that are involved, your three key players, none of them are going to be better off for this. Like, I'm all for doing different things, and I'm all for trying to explore different ways to get people over. But again, when you look at it, what's the payoff here? Lana ends up going with Lashley when we know in real life that she's married to Rusev. 
Unless they get divorced in real life, then they're not living the gimmick, then it's stupid. If she ends up with Rusev, then he looks like a cuck bitch for all of this, and that doesn't help him either. And it also makes Lashley look like a jackass, because after all of this, and supposedly he's packing, he couldn't keep the blonde with the tits. And either way, it doesn't make her look good whatsoever. Either you build up to a pay-per-view match. What are they fighting over? What are they fighting for? Because Rusev feels bad? He's mad? Because Lashley wants to troll this dude? Why? Did we ever really get the understanding of why Lana and Lashley all of a sudden just started messing around? Not just, oh, Rusev was addicted to sex all the time. So now I go with Lashley and we have great sex all the time. Like, Everything about this is dumb. Everything about this is stupid. It helps nobody. And it's not popping your viewership numbers on TV. For God's sakes, end this storyline and end it now. Because the longer you continue to perpetuate it, all you are doing, all you are doing is making all three involved worse off for it. And if that's what you're trying to accomplish, Vince, Paul... Then I don't even know what to say. Horrible.